Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to discuss another problem. Problem is recover binary search tree. So in this problem, we will we'll be given the root of binary search tree where the value of exactly two nodes of the tree was swapped by mistake. So two values are swapped and we need to uh, bring them to the correct position. Recover the tree without changing its structure. Okay, so see, just make sure this that this is a binary search tree. Okay, so here, uh, if you see this binary search tree, this is one, three, and two. But as we all know, all the nodes on the left uh, subtree should be lesser than the root, right? So here, three is uh, greater than one, but that's not correct. So three should come, three should become as root, and one should come here. Then this is fine. So what we are doing, we are swapping one and three. Right, we are swapping one and three, and we get this. Tree. So uh, two nodes are swapped, right? If you see one and three were swapped, so we uh, we again swapped them, and now they are at their correct position. So only exactly two nodes are there, which are swapped by mistake. We need to again bring them to their correct position. This is what is the what the problem is. Okay, let's see this uh, test case as well. So see, this test case is given. Now. If you see this test case, we can easily know that see here, this is three is the root. This three is the root. So all the values on the left of the of three should be less than three, and all the values on the right of three should be greater than three. But here two is less than three, and it's on the right side, which is not correct. Two is less than three, so it should be on the left side. Okay, this is one uh, thing which is wrong. So, what needs to be there? This tree should be something like this: one, two. So, in place of three, it should be two, and in place of two, it should be three. So, these two, two and three nodes are swapped, and we are again swap them to make them come to the correct position. So, one, two, four, and three. So, this is the correct binary search tree. Now, see, one is less than two, and these all are greater than two. So. This is what the tree should be like, and in the output we need to return the root of the correct. Like basically, we need to return the correct tree, the correct base. So I hope you understood the uh, problem. Very easy. See, this brute force approach is very simple for this one. If we see the brute force approach, na, that is very simple. The learning which we will get from here in this problem will be from the optimized problem, optimized solution. So see, right now the A test case is something like this. Okay, so if we talk about brute force, what directly comes into mind is that we all know that uh, this is a BST. So if we find out the in order traversal, if we find out the in order traversal of this BST, BST we, that will be in sorted order. This is what we all know. This is a special property in BST that if we find out the in order of the BST. Then we get the array in a sorted order. So if I find out in order, so in order will be one, three, two, and four. This should be this is the in order of this binary search tree. Okay, but ideally, if the nodes were in correct position, right? If the nodes were in correct position, right now these three, this three and two are swapped. Ideally, in place of three should be two, and in place of two it should be three. But right now they are swapped, na? So The thing is that right now, in order, if we find out the in order of this BST, it will be like this. Okay, but if we find out the ideal uh, in order, so ideal in order will be what? Ideal in order will be this is the current current in order which we find out from this tree. We will write a function in order and we will find out the in order of this tree. We will be given the root of this BST. So I hope you all know how to find in order. So this array we get in vector or array. So we have this in order. Now ideal in order should be what? Ideal in order should be obviously, of obviously guess it guess it what it should be. This array in sorted order that will be ideal. Ideal be uh, that will be ideal right? So what we will do na? We will compare. We'll compare that. If here, see this three and two are not at correct position, so we'll swap them. This two and three are not at correct position, so we'll swap them. This is one approach, brute force approach. 
the thing is that in this what we are doing is we are using this extra space o of n so this approach is not correct okay this will not be accepted because we are using extra space here so see guys how we can improve it so how we can improve it we have to do this problem in o of 1 space because first in order we are finding so that will be o of n only time complexity the thing is that space is o of n which needs to be reduced to constant space okay so now let's see how we can do that the test case was 3 1 4 and 2 see first of all we know we need to know which two nodes needs to be swapped right obviously we need to find out which two nodes needs to be swapped so for that let's say i have two pointers first and end okay i have first and end so this first will store the first node which needs to be swapped and the second end will store the second node so ideally first should have 3 and second end should have 2 okay so first of all initially i am taking these two variables which will be storing the addresses so it will be pointer variables and they will be having null initially okay and also we'll have to have a previous variable which using which we will compare that whether the value is correct or not okay whether the value is correct or not uh, basically if it is at the correct position or not because see the thing is na there could be two cases just try to understand this if we have this we right now we have this in order right in order for this bst which is obviously the wrong wrong bst but still in order will be 1 3 2 and 4 so here what we see na here we see that these two edges and nodes are at are in incorrect order if this is a bst so it should be sorted order so in sorted order two should always come before three na means they are not at the correct position so if we have a previous variable let's say this is my previous variable and this is my current root what i can simply check if root is less than previous sorry if root this it should be here that if root value is less than previous then obviously there is something wrong na why something wrong because they they should be in sorted order here 3 uh, is bigger than 2 ideally 2 should come here and 3 should come here that is previous should be less than the root value not greater than so if it's greater than meaning something is wrong like 3 is greater than 2 3 is the previous node 2 is the next node or the current root so one case is this one this is one case that when the nodes which needs to be swapped are together like uh, adjacent but for example just for example purposes i am taking like uh, random uh, uh, in order traversal for example 1 3 something like this is there 4 and uh, something like um like let's have 1 2 here we have 4 3 uh let's have 4 4 5 3 something like this okay where the nodes like 4 and 3 should be swapped na basically the nodes are not at correct position they are uh, not adjacent you can say then what we need to do we need to store this 4 and we need to store this 3 and we need to compare them okay so there could be two cases one they could be adjacent other there could they could be at different different places in the entire bst so what we will do right here we'll be having obviously one previous so that we can compare the previous value with the current value if previous is uh, greater than the root then there is something wrong okay and if it's less than obviously then it's fine because it should be ideally less than uh, uh, and uh, first we'll store the first node which needs to be swapped and end we'll store the second node which needs to be swapped so these three variables i'm taking now what we will do we will do in order traverse So earlier, what we were storing, we were storing in order traversal in an array. Here we will not store; we'll just simply traverse, and we will be updating these pointers. 
these point of variables okay so see first of all what i i am doing i am doing in order traversal so in order traversal is obviously left then root and then right okay so this is how we move in in order traversal so first of all uh, this is the root i am currently here i'll go to the left of root so root will come here this is the left child now one has no left child so we'll simply return and we'll be here only now see guys one we are currently at one previous is null so we will update previous with one so if previous see if previous is null right now if previous is equal equal to null in the previous just give the root value because obviously something needs to be the previous node na so one will be the previous node okay now we go to here uh here so one has no right child obviously so it will just go back it will go to 3 so now 3 right now this is the root node the current node you can say the 3 is the current node so current node is greater than the previous node previous is what one now just guys pause the video and think and let me just just check whether this condition is correct or not like ideally it should be this or not so i hope you guessed it correct correctly so obviously this condition is correct because this is the current one and this is the previous so 3 should is greater than previous meaning r 1 3 something like this is fine it should be in ascending order only okay now we will see this was fine so 3 will now become previous so every time we will update the previous node and we go to the so see here we go to the right here right we go so in right also first of all what we will do we'll go to the uh, we come here to the 4 but we'll not process it first we'll go to its left because it's in order traversal okay so we go to 2 now here for 2 just check previous is 3 only so for uh, uh, if you are getting confused why we did not update uh, previous when we have reached 4 because see guys this is in order traversal in in order traversal first we deal with the left child then we deal with the root 4 okay so first when from 3 we go to 2 so for 2 is the current and obviously it should be greater than previous because so sorted order right but here previous is 3 and current is 2 so this condition is violated meaning meaning the uh, this these two are the these two are the nodes which needs to be swapped so this two we will store uh, here see this 3 we will store and this two will store in these two pointers first and end okay and this is how uh, this algorithm will work so after uh, this whole traversal first and end will have the values and we will just simply swap these two nodes so we'll swap them when i say we are swapping the nodes we are swapping not the values but the addresses of that node okay so let's see the code once and i'll highly recommend just dry run the code once if you will not try run then you will not understand how it's working okay so let's see see first of all what we are doing is we have these three pointers previous first and second end initially i have given null value to all and then we are uh, marking this tree so here see first we go to the left then we check if previous is not null if there is something in the previous but if previous is null so we will just simply assign the root value to previous right here like when we were at 1 there was nothing in the previous so we just assigned previous to 1 okay and then we go to the right now what we are doing for the root see for the root if there is previous value we check if the root value is less than the previous value ideally root value should be greater than the previous value but if it's less than and there is nothing in the first right first is empty so then it means that we'll update first okay otherwise if there is uh, something uh, like if it's there in the first uh, something is there in the first then we uh, add the, the the value in the root uh, in the end sorry okay 
सो दिस इज हाउ दिस एल्गोरिदम इज वर्किंग एंड एवरी टाइम वी आर अपडेटिंग द रूट वैल्यू टू प्रीवियस सो प्रीवियस इज ऑलवेज अपडेटिंग ओके प्रीवियस ऑब्वियसली लाइक एवरी टाइम वी आर अपडेटिंग द प्रीवियस वैल्यू एंड दिस इज हाउ दिस एल्गोरिदम इज वर्किंग सो हियर सिंपल इन ऑर्डर ट्रेवर्सल वी आर डूइंग सो ऑब्वियसली टाइम कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी विल बी ऑफ एन वेर एन इज नंबर ऑफ नोट्स एंड स्पेस विल बी कॉन्स्टेंट ऑब्वियसली हियर वी आर नॉट टेकिंग द रिकर्सिव स्टैक ओके सो हियर दिस इज हाउ दिस एल्गोरिदम इज वर्किंग so i hope you understood and you will better understood if you uh, try run the algorithm uh, this code once on a test case just take this test case only a simple test case and just try try run once and if you found the video helpful please like it subscribe to my channel and let me know in the comments if you have any doubts thank you